EastEnders star Matt D'Angelo confirms who must die in the Christmas Day murder. Since his return to EastEnders on Halloween, Dean Wicks has become a perfect candidate to be the dead body on the floor this Christmas. Viewers will remember the flash-forward episode that teased a brutal murder this Christmas, though the identity of the victim has remained a mystery ever since. However, the arrival of Dean has left many wondering if he could be the one to find himself wearing the dreaded cufflinks this Christmas, especially given what he has put Linda Carter through in the past few weeks. Dean raped Linda in 2014, and she has been trying to rebuild her life ever since. His return has left her struggling more than ever, and when he forced her to lie about what had happened, she very nearly fell off the wagon. If anyone deserves to wear the cufflinks, it's Dean, actor Matt D'Angelo admitted, but I think the more people that have those cufflinks in the lead up to Christmas, the better. Now, Dean is back in Walford to be close to daughter Jade, who is waiting for a transplant. Dean is very much back in the square now trying to make his business work and take care of his sick daughter. He's trying his hardest to integrate into the community and make his business work. Dean very much thinks he's innocent, he truly believes that so he is surprised that people who did believe him before, now don't. So he's having to deal with that, and he is finding that the people of Walford are standing behind Linda so he wants to change their mind. He doesn't have a choice, he needs his life in Walford to work. Dean isn't the only man who could end up on the floor of the Queen Vic, as countless other Albert Square men have also caused upset over the past year. Nish Panasar has made life for wife Suki hell over the past few months, while Ravi Gulati has torn apart Denise Fox and Jack Branning's marriage. There's also Theo Hawthorne, who terrorized Stacey Slater for months, and Rocky Cotton, who told lie after lie to wife Kathy Beale. Not to mention, Keanu Taylor faking the kidnap of Sharon Watts' son. With all of these women set to be stood over the body, any one of these men, and a number of others, could find themselves in the firing line. Xin chào các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh Spoiler. Vừa rồi các bạn đã theo dõi một